Good afternoon, St. Matthews, on this chilly day as we are recording for what would be Tuesday of the second full week after Epiphany. Can you believe that already? Two weeks into Epiphany as we march towards Lent. Today, an order of service for noonday begins on page 103, page 103 in your Books of Common Prayer. Let us enter into God's courts. O God, make speed to save us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. And now, turning the page, let us read together in unison Psalm 121. And that is found right there on page 104. I lift up my eyes to the hills. From where is my help to come? My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. He will not let your foot be moved, and he who watches over you will not fall asleep. Behold, he who keeps watch over Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord himself watches over you. The Lord is your shade at your right hand, so that the sun shall not strike you by day nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve you from all evil. It is He who shall keep you safe. The Lord shall watch over your going out and your coming in from this time forth forevermore. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. And now turning the page, let us read, let us read it next. From the rising of the sun to its setting, my name shall be great among the nations. And in every place, incense shall be offered to my name, and a pure offering. For my name shall be great among the nations, says the Lord of hosts. A reading from Malachi. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us of our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I give to you, my own peace I leave with you. Regard not our sins, but the faith of your church, and give to us the peace and unity of that heavenly city, where with the Father and the Holy Spirit you live and reign now and forever. Amen. You may recognize that as a collect that we pray sometimes after the prayers of the people on Sundays. Now I invite your intercessions, your petitions, your requests, your thanksgivings. I ask you to especially pray for Linda Johnston. We pray for our president, Joe, our vice president, Kamala, our governor, Kay, and our mayor, Paul. We pray for Michael, our presiding bishop, for Glenda, our diocesan bishop, for Brian, our assisting bishop. We pray for Father Sam, Father Steve. We pray for Lynn, our deacon, and for Karen, our postulant for holy orders. 
continuing with our practice of praying for five, which I am finding as a wonderful just blessing. We pray for Mike and Jackie Fennell, John and Barbara Ferreira, Nicholas Fletcher, Gail Franklin, Aaron and Rebecca Frollins. Okay, St. Matthews, I look forward to seeing you tomorrow for Noon Eucharist as we gather every Wednesday. Until then, take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. Peace of our Lord. Let us bless the Lord. Amen.